what do we want to do next? Do we want to do po uh, portal stories? We can call it postal stories. Uh, sisters. We can try the lab. It doesn't like to be recorded, but we can try it. The worst thing that can happen is crash. Or we can go into fantastic contraption. I, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, okay, let's see. We got some... Uh, Irad wants to know if you've seen Rick and Morty. Uh, yes. There's a lot of votes for Fantastic Contraption. I was kind of interested in Fantastic Contraption earlier, so that does sound like... Now, everybody else, are you seeing Fantastic Contraption and thinking The Incredible Machine? Because that's what I'm doing right now in my head. Well, that's the right, that's the right approach to have, because it's the same kind of game in some fashions, as you're about to see. Hmm. Right now, we're at the uh, portion I left off at. So let me introduce you to everything. Also, let's get that back here. So, this is our helper. This is Neko. He, he, he produces things. These are the things we use to solve the puzzles. Which, this game is your basic physics puzzler. Let's go ahead, let's go ahead and smack my wall. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Do you need to take a moment to recenter yourself within the room? <laughs> I just need a second to fucking laugh at myself for being retarded. Let's go ahead and do it this way. There we go. That's a little better. Let's just get rid of all of this. But as your basic physics puzzler, we uh, we have things like this. I forget what the hell this thing's called. But uh, we need to get it into that like spot. Tinker toy logs or something. And we can do that in any way we choose using all the parts on this fella here who purrs when I stroke him with my flower hand controllers. Also, yes, I can make... I didn't know that you farted. <laughs> this cat farts. All noted, yes, that your cat poops things out of its tail. <laughs> yes, it dispenses various objects out of its body. It's a genetic monstrosity, but damn, is it helpful. <laughs> oh, and you can... You can pet its little face. They're so nice. So, like, we have these turnabobs, and we have various sticks that we can apply it, and then we can press the play button, and things will transpire. Like, you saw it just rolled off the stage, and this thing <laughs> fell out of the air. It's making balloons for balloon animals for you. So, let's see. Can I... What's the easiest way to go back? Oh, also, I can that up. I didn't know that. There's all sorts of things. I think if I take this, I can go back to various places. And yes, I have to put it on my head, otherwise I can't go any places. Here we go. This game is pretty immersive and it's a selection thing. Uh, yeah, let's just go from the beginning here. Perfect. It's a Stellaris Xenopet. Perfect. Let's put the hat down here. All right. So this looks a little similar, but it doesn't have a gigantic hole to get across. We just need to transport this to there. So let's do it. Cat, I require your bits. Let's go ahead and put this here. Thank goodness the cat wasn't Bob Barker at some point. <laughs> As you can see, we can extend rods to wherever we want. It's all very... Very intuitive, actually. Hey, Mother F and you, everybody is complaining now about the use of VR in VR. All right, let's put that there. It's easy to pull these apart when you're using two hands, so let's try <laughs> not to do it. I saw you so slowly stroking that shaft. <laughs> yes, you can pull things apart and make them smaller by stroking them. <laughs> Just like in the movies. What movies? You know what movies. The you ones that we're surprised aren't in VR yet. <laughs> yes. There we go. Let's get a couple more of these. I'll over-engineer the hell out of this. Go make it robust. There you go. Whoop, mate. Don't go too far. Let's get that wheel on the ground. Something's weird with my head right now. What's up with my wires? Something's weird with my wires. 
Ah, yes. <laughs> I've apparently twisted them up into a coil, sort of like a king toes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's a little not so immersive. I don't know how to fix that either. Not right. on the fly, so we're just going to have to deal with it. So you're building a Fred Flintstone car here. Pretty much. Let's see how it runs right now. Terribly, because it's broken. <laughs> Let's fix it. There we go. There she goes. Now we just need to make her a little taller and she'll work. Behold. I'm a master engineer. Learn from Isaac. Also, we have another animal that you guys have not met yet. This is Arf. He is our progression pooch. That's... Triangles are very important in this game. Also, it's giving me instructions for reasons. That's one I've already done. So we'll just let it wheel over there and you'll see it in all of its greatness. That one's much better engineered for fewer parts. Oh, it's that... Uh... Oh, jeez. There's some Japanese industrial concept of term for that decontenting sort of thing you managed to make the same the same thing with fewer pieces I know that one's only four parts and it achieves greatness I'm wow. happy of that robust like SS13 what a monstrosity that thing is I'm surprised it makes it cross there so this is how the game goes so there's a whole bunch of these now that I you did you build all these before or are you I now just watching these? Okay, I was we're just like, flying through the levels. Are you now just watching the Red Bull Flugtag? <laughs> the hell is this thing? Where's the, oh yeah, I forgot about this one. This one you have like pieces you don't connect to, but you need to get them to there. So we have like a uh, conveyor belt. You can see it's pretty simple construction, although it needs a lot of goddamn support. Otherwise, it falls apart. All right. And now we should be back to mine the gap, the one that I have not done. Hmm. So let's try to figure this one out together. Let's see. I think I just didn't engineer this enough before, or I got too caught on my design that uh, you may have noticed earlier that I like to do, where it's just <laughs> like a lever that throws this thing into it. There is a limit to how far you can, or how tall the, you can make this. As you can see right there, it's hanging through the ceiling. Although it didn't seem to mind. Oh yeah, and there is a giant pole in the ceiling, I guess, presumably to avoid you just pitching the thing over there. Hmm. Grimoth says he now has a million credits and that you will probably know what that means. He's talking about Warframe. <laughs> Can I just do this? This seems like bullcrap. <laughs> <laughs> I think, did it just fall back and hit you in the face? No, I didn't care for that, understandably. So that's what happens when you ex go past the bounds. It just gives you a... <laughs> Angry little gummy of blackness. <laughs> this seems like cheese. Too much cheese. Oh. Must compress this thing. Okay. Let's try this again. We need to get over that gap, and I'm breaking it like crazy. Let's put you there. Put you here. Wait, am I missing something? Oh, oh, it turned black and that's not acceptable. Yeah, it's all dangerously cheesy, friend. You can't do yeah. that. Oh, just like those uh, extra flavor, uh, what do you call them, Cheetos. Exactly. All right, Kitty, we're going to do this. Put it right there. Give me another one of these. I think if I put three wheels on this, maybe we can do this. Also... Once you moved over here. So me and the kitty can get the work. Just make a box or triangle conveyor belt that connects to itself. People are suggesting things. Do you have a limit to the number of pieces that you can use? I don't think so. 
Although I tried to go for efficiency, so I can't say that for certain. All right, I'm almost done with this monstrosity, then we'll see how she rolls. There you go. Fantastic monstrosity. <laughs> it's really what it should be called. Eventually, you will kill the cat if you take too many things. <laughs> uh, 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 oh, dang. Okay. You let's... need a cross member across all the axles. <laughs> I think I tried that last time. The game does not care for those. <laughs> hmm. Maybe if I put this up. Uh, 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 uh. Come on. Aw, oh, dang it. <laughs> Let's try to get so it doesn't bounce. Gotta put these closer to the floor. There you go. Oh, you're going for you're going for Pontiac wide track design. <laughs> exactly. Don't disconnect, please. Come on, stay on there. There you go. Yeah. Uh, Out and forward. Son of a yeah. bitch. Yeah. It's getting no, very you got close. The, you got the right idea though. You needed to uh you needed to uh, establish a beachhead. <laughs> now you're just taunting me as I watch it fall into the abyss. <laughs> <laughs> Can you use more glue up there or something? Seems like that part came up. The top bit came apart awful fast. It did. Come on, baby. Get oh. up there. Come on. A Come thing on. is suggesting you build it like a World War One tank. I mean, the front of it is sort of looking that way. Yeah. Hmm. It's so close. I guess it could just use a few more things. You know, things. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Got air. What if you lifted? Uh, what if you lifted up the back? I did try that. I'm gonna try putting on another tube, another tube wheel, making it like a boat shape, kind of like a tank, I guess. Everybody's up. Oh, Katamari wants you to lower the ball and oh. work the shaft. I could I don't definitely make it less uh, top heavy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. For the Lower the fall to the ground. Ah, yes. Oh, that one broke. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> This thing is a hoot. Everybody is suggesting, yes, make it have treads, as in a million of those things all close to the ground. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh, dang. <laughs> oh shit, this is too fun, too silly. And other folks are chiming in with various suggestions, like, yes, you can make a catapult, but I believe they attempted to prevent you from using a catapult in this scenario by making that giant block of floating land be directly above. Okay, it needs a little more leverage because it keeps tipping backwards. All right, so if I make... I got an idea. What if I was to put you more up here? Let's see. Uh, Erad says that uh, you can use blue rods like train wheels, and it will bump against the ground, pushing it up. I was wondering what the difference was. Let's try that. Uh, it's not exactly the right turn. Let's. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's pretty neat. -o. Blue goes through other items. It is very effective in the 2D version. I didn't even know there was a 2D version. Dur -dur -dur. <laughs> okay, so if we put one of those on the front, it should be able to dig its way up. Er, er, er. <laughs> Dying it and fell down. <laughs> But it was close. It was close. It was extremely close. Do it on the top and bottom. Oh, 
Oh, damn. It just turned out of the way. But it was there, Bobo. <laughs> it was there. Oh, I look forward to seeing it. <laughs> it oh, bounces. man, it's trying so hard. <laughs> it bounces. Oh, but it's just, just canted over. Uh, it's learned to dance now, at least. Okay, let's get ourselves another blue one for this front portion. Maybe that will be the key to the sides. Some are suggesting that they need rollers on the sides. I guess for stability. Yeah. I like guess. those, uh, like those little stabilizers they put on. Um, you know, whenever they uh, they do the Consumer Reports uh, specials about like. Suzuki Samurais and Jeeps and things like that about how they can always roll over yeah. if you uh, swing way too fast. Yeah. Needs to needs to have little uh, little training wheel stabilizers like those. Whenever they uh, hook them up like that so that you can see what the rollover risk is like. I just gimped that thing, but it made it. <laughs> <laughs> stabilizers? Nonsense. No. I put on one stabilizer. It was enough. <laughs> you were calm, uh, double wide. So yes, apparently yes, the double wide thing that did it. Welcome to the sweep across. So we need to sweep that thing off. Okay, that should be fairly okay. easy. We just need to keep you up there. Let's see, can I go any further? What's the extent? Okay, that's the extent. I already see I'm gonna engineer this. If I can get to not stretch, stop stretching. Put up here. Baseball. Come on now. I say you come on now. There you go. This one's gonna be a bit over engineered too, but such is life. Life is over engineered. Start. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, stay there. Don't you be. Hey, you're swiveling too much. Stay there. There we go. Hmm. My question is how I'm gonna anchor this to the ground effectively, especially since. The game is deciding, hey, I need to have all my pieces go all over the place. Well, I don't know. I don't think that sounds good. Here we go. You read suggests that you should totally check out the 2D Flash game version. I probably will. Right. Oh, did you end up uh, checking out those whispers or uh, whatever was going on? Yeah. Okay. Careless whispers. All taken care of. I'm going to... Uh, Unfortunately, I believe now is around the time I'm going to need to start covering the actual gameplay screen so that I cannot look what you're doing. <laughs> Which is too bad, because this game looks really interesting. <laughs> of course. Let's see what happens with this. I'm sure it's going to... Yep, it just fell over. That's fine. We can fix that. We have the science. We'll just go ahead and put that there. Here... Maybe if I get it working, I'll tell you, and then you can have at least a look at that. <laughs> Be like, hey, check out this. Uh, you can just describe what it is. And like, I've got one of those spinny things, and there there are uh, three sticks uh, coming out of that. It's working, Bobo. What? Oh. Yes. What an ugly machine, but it works. All right. Hopefully now, by the time no, okay, now the time that I've switched over, that'll uh, that'll definitely make me. Uh, yeah, I'm not swiveling my to head too it. much. <laughs> That's uh, interesting, Lethal. <laughs> interesting and effective. <laughs> it's just sort of like elbowing its way across the surface. Erg. <laughs> Welcome to Giraffe and Island. And then it fell apart. <laughs> After it had completed its task, it came to pieces. Okay, so I can move this, but I need to extend it up there somehow, huh? Okay. I 
I was enamored by the jiggle physics of the jelly, by the way, if you're wondering what I was doing. Mm. Uh, Small Balls Walrus wants to know if you can get components by ripping out the cat's eyes. I don't think so. Yeah. See, I can... I, I just grab Seems my like space. Just... He also has this little thing. I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> and then it explodes. Oh, it's like a Super Bowl. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking amazing. Cat, you are the best. Give me more. Whoop, I broke it. Come here. Come here. Okay. That went on forever. All right. Now, I have a pretty good idea of how I'm going to solve this one. We just need to build an arm that pulls it up, which means we're going to have to make a hell of a base for this. Mm, jelly jiggle. Apparently jelly jiggling is happening. Oh, yes. There. Go ahead and make ourselves a base. Try to stick it to the ground. Come on, game. We do have a couple of working theories going on here, but uh, I will uh, I will sit back and allow you to uh, build whatever it is that you are attempting to do before I start uh, getting a whole lot of extra bits and pieces from other people here. Okay. There. Right yes, sir, Char. The cat does shit wood logs. That is that is a thing the cat does for your benefit. It's amazing when cats shit out their tails, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> like its tails are actually wood or something. I don't know how it works. It's something from Gene Forge. It is bizarre enough to be from that game. Shapers be praised. Yeah. Oh. And Primeth never finished it. <laughs> I'll never know what happened. Not that I can remember what was sort of happening at the time when he quit. Bam! First try, and all of a sudden, the cat is inside me. Ah, the cat is inside all of us. <laughs> what the hell is this on your tummy? The fuck is it's this? the cat. The fuck is this? There's weird things coming out of you. Good night, everybody. Zerf says it is sleepy times in Ontario, I guess. What does this do? You have so many weird things to come out of you, Cat, and I can't figure out what half of them do. Like the Super Bowl. Who knows? <laughs> Alright, we'll solve this puzzle and then we'll go over to something else. I think. Welcome to Right Turn Island. Okay, well, I was going to say, if I go back to the previous level, I can probably get that one machine and have it do this. <laughs> you remember oh, the yeah. machine, mind the gap machine. Can you just copy pasta machines, or do you have to reconstruct them? <laughs> I'll show you if you look. <laughs> yeah, oh. I can copy pasta them, and it's a little weird. Mind the gap. Oh, come here, you. I said, come on. All right, and... There. There we go. Okay, you are coming in with me. Oh, yeah, I have to pick it up from here and put it on here. And now it remembers it. Now, if I go over here and go to the right turn. And I take you, and I put you here. Bam! Potato salad. Show there it is. Potato salad. Wait a minute, this isn't the right level. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Why do you play with my emotions game? <laughs> Maybe I can't do it from that one? Hmm. Oh. Huh. Weird. <laughs> Okay, let's try this again. Let's go to mine the gap. Put that there. Now I want this. Okay. Yes, I want the creation on here. 
Shaman 3 mil thinks that you put them both on the table and then pull off the helmet. Okay. Let me first load up this level. Because this one has the name of the level on it. Hmm. Wait. There's a magical lever. I'm not sure what the magical lever does. I guess we can look at... We have contraptions for this level that work, apparently. Friends contraptions. Unfortunately, no contraptions for this. And all kinds of other contraptions. Fortunately, I can't use my own here, which is a damn shame. Fortunately, it's the whole level and not just the one one thing. So we're going to have to deal with it and do it ourselves. Oh, well. Fuck it. Do it live. Such is life in the Serengeti. Cat, I'm in need of your parts again. So, what we'll try to do is put... I don't know. Maybe I can get the stay on a slant. Just a slight slant. Yeah. Yeah, I got an idea. So let's put these flat on the ground. And what we'll do is we'll make it lean to one side, and maybe that'll be enough to actually have it curve. And this would be the simplest design. You don't have to do anything crazy. It just needs to wibbly wobble over there. Whoa, game. Dang it, you're not the stick. <laughs> you're a kitty. <laughs> Yes, kitty. All right. So now if I just go like this, it's going to fall over. Hmm. Oops. Maybe a little less yeah. lane. Let's see. The purple bead has weight, definitely, but the black balls on the, kitty, on the kitty's belly is a weight. I see. Oh, that's damn close. I think just a little more lean. The giant belly ball is heavy. And my cat seems confused whenever you mess with Neko. Or Bomb Zeroes does. My Hazel doesn't care. Although she has been known to periodically hunt the cursor on a monitor. I'm gonna fuck with Bomb Zero's cat for a second. Let's try one of these weights. Just to see the effect of it. It's just not getting enough turn. But it's damn close. Maybe if I move you inward a little bit and turn you initially. Eh? Science? Oh, it's happening! Get out those Ron Paul gifts! Oh, it's totally making it. Bam! Potato salad! <laughs> Too good! That's what potato salad is. Who knew? It's too good. What the hell is this? It's like a mini golf course! So they both need to go in there? Oh, God. <laughs> Glad I'm not doing this one this time. <laughs> you watch the balls while I'm away, okay? 